Okay, we've got what we call a self-starting DC pulse motor with just a reed switch, LED, and diode. No transistors. I'm going to turn on the power over here. Hit the button on the panel. So what's going on here? Let's turn it off a second. From my previous video the other day, I had this little magnet in a copper jar and when I was adding it in this area up here it was speeding up the, uh, the motor. First I thought maybe it's just messing with the reed switch. Uh, distance between the reeds there or something. So I took out some uh, solar magnets or a little bunch of magnets I had and started playing around with them. And I noticed when I turned it a certain way toward the back of the uh, electromagnet I got that super speed. I said well why not just stick it on that piece of metal and that piece of metal inside that uh, electromagnet is uh, this type metal out of a transformer off a TV um, that's on the circuit board has some nice metal uh, for making the cores of electromagnets that's what's inside this one okay so I stuck these magnets on the metal on the back they stay obviously touching metal here's the interesting thing the magnets on the wheel are right about here right now Previously, before this magnet was here, the magnet would stop right in front of the piece of metal. Now, it's when the wheel stops, the magnets are spread between this piece of metal because it has this magnetic field coming in right here, pushing against them. Over here, this diode, this is the negative band over here on the diode, okay, it's hooked up in the conventional way to protect the reed switch. However, I added later on this little LED and it wasn't lighting up too good. It was hooked up in the conventional way also to doubly protect the uh, reed switch. So I flipped it over. Okay, It is actually hooked up to, to go in the normal way uh, flow, not to protect the reed switch. So it's not lighting up all uh, reverse EMF counter electromotive force it's lighting up in the normal fashion so basically it if it had no resistance it would short the circuit out and the coil would never get any electricity but it has a certain amount of resistance so when it lights up it's sharing the negative electricity coming to the coil so when you start this thing up what is happening um, the magnet over here is just into the field of, of the reed switch to close the circuit. And this field here is kind of stuck in the middle of the two magnets. Uh, it's, it's really ready to shake a little bit or something. But when this thing starts lighting up, when the reed switch starts closing, it changes the resistance in the circuit so the electromagnet gets a little bit more energy and it gets past that imbalance and it shakes and gets going and auto starts the thing and this has worked 99% of the time I think it failed me one time I'm gonna hit the start button again right now okay and it takes a second but then it just takes off also another thing that I noticed is when I shut this down I'm making electricity with these magnets going by this coil with the, with the nice core here. I'm going to turn it off here on three and if you watch the LED you'll see it's still lit and it, it's dying down slowly because the wheel spinning is making electricity. One, two, three. Power off. LED still has minor light in it. Okay. So what I did 
uh, lid motor has something called Maggie. I made me a mini Maggie the other day. This coil is out of the fan uh, in a microwave. Uh, let me show you what the thing looked like previously. This is uh, one that doesn't have the, the plates taken off. Luckily somebody had a video that showed me how to take these little metal clips here, these copper looking pieces out and in these metal plates here you can pry the uh, the edge ones apart and they will just start coming out without too much problem. The um, coil has a let me take this tape back for a second it has a core that basically just slides right there that's why I've added the tape but that core portion right there without the tape would just slide right on out and this mini Maggie as I call it will light up quite nicely let me start the wheel again and let me put her around back here and you can see her LED lighting up from the magnets going by also for those curious how this thing is built I know lid motor always talking about how to get something that'll spin good this toy wheel off a uh, toy car does have some flat spots on it here and if you you can get a magnet right in there on the flat spots this has the four magnets super glued on and taped around that holds on real good this shaft is actually a small drill bit okay and as you can see the reed switch is held in by some of these wire retainer things whatever they're called and uh, that's where we're at today having fun with a self-starting pulse motor without the circuitry that most people would have to use <laughs>